So this is the second uh, on a mini-series on hope uh, for Advent, and uh, this is the hope of the return of Jesus, the time when he takes his white horse and rides through the heavens, when he comes to wind the whole thing up, and we're looking forward to the, the, the return. Jesus said, uh, as they looked up into heaven, uh, Watching his ascension, they said, I'm coming back in the same way as you see me go. And another place is riding on the clouds. They, they, just this great idea of the trumpet blast, like at the Feast of Trumpets, and, and Jesus uh, coming and returning. And, and, and three things about it, really. One is that he'll finish what he started, uh, that Jesus will, will complete the work that he began to do. Uh, in many senses, it's completed at the cross, but we know that the uh, work of, of restoration for us personally, of the redemption of the whole world, of uh, Jesus building his church, of the bride being prepared for the uh, bridegroom, of the whole heavens and earth being renewed. None of that's yet completed. We know that we are saved, we have been saved, and uh, that we will be saved. We're looking forward to, as we saw last week, the redemption of our bodies, but we're looking forward to, to Jesus finishing what he started, the kingdom coming in all its fullness as the um, uh, as, as the yeast works through the whole dough and the kingdom comes in fullness. So demons are currently cast out, Satan will be cast out. Uh, we see uh, blessings of healing, uh, but we will have whole bodies raised, imperishable, immortal. Uh, the uh, gospel will be preached throughout the whole earth and then the end will come. Uh, so this proclamation of good news, healing, casting out demons, the establishment of justice, uh, the increase of his justice and of peace, there'll be no end, but we know that in the New Jerusalem there's no more sea, there's no more chaos, uh, because justice is established uh, throughout the world. And so Jesus comes to finish what he started, and one of those things is to, to defeat the evil one which is really the second thing that I think is good news, uh, that Jesus is going to defeat the devil. Uh, we defeat the devil in all sorts of different ways, by overcoming temptation, by working in the opposite spirit, by, uh, by, by uh, casting out demons, but we also are expecting the fullness of that as the, uh, as the devil is cast into the lake of fire that's been prepared for him. Uh, I don't know why God didn't blast uh, Satan out of existence at the fall, except that he wanted to overcome by his love and wanted free people to choose to worship and love and serve and bless him. And uh, so we do that, and as we do that, we're looking forward to the time when there will be no more struggle against evil, when temptation will have lost its power, uh, where death, has, which currently has lost its sting, will exist no more. Uh, just the, the defeat of evil, the defeat of, of Satan, just such a, a hopeful and a wonderful thing. And then the third thing where Jesus says, I'm going to create a new heaven and a new earth um, in the book of Revelation. And uh, in, that, in that new heaven and new earth, we've got all sorts of beautiful things. We have security because the walls and the gates are so strong. Uh, we have purity because there's, uh, uh, sin is left outside. Uh, but yet inside there's a healing for the nations. We have uh, uh, the sense of the presence of God uh, that's so powerful because Jesus lives there. The dwelling of God is with men and uh, with people. And, and so we're just looking forward to this creation, this new heaven, this new earth, this whole new thing that God is doing as he winds the world up. And so the Spirit and the Bride say come. You know, the Holy Spirit pulls on our hearts and says, come Lord Jesus. The Bride, the body of Christ, together we say, come Lord Jesus. Uh, we say come to the uh, to people, come come and buy without money, without price. Uh, come and eat of the bread of eternal life. But we say, come Lord Jesus, even so, come. And that's our hope of Advent. And uh, I hope that as you talk about this stuff that you'll uh, enjoy being filled with the hope of life in all its fullness and life to come. Bless you. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.